Lemon juice? What for? To write spy messages, of course. Oh, shit! So... Wait, why are the stairs automatic pathing? Let's get in the airplane. Paper airplane. Okay, so maybe, is it possible his friend from a long time ago was Faye? Why do you do this to me? And I can't go up. Wait, nope, I see it. Oh. Oh, okay, okay. Right. Uh-huh. So we're trying to finish the airplane. Damn it. Damn it! Wait. Okay, here we go. Wait. So that... Ooh, so it does that at the same time. Okay. So I... Need to... What? I can't... Oh. There we go. Kind of. Okay. Rude. Damn it! Oh, oh god. Oh no. <laughs> I scooted back into the... Okay, I thought I'd... I thought I'd fix that. Let's try. Huh? Nope. Alright, hold on. Ignore. Ignore the space behind the curtain. Hey, Shimmy. Okay, that's. terrible, but it'll have to do. So I need to get you up here. Can't do that. I basically just have to toggle this and this. So this will scoot all of them to the side, or no, the book will go up, okay, and then when that goes up, it'll flip that sideways. So then this plane is going to flip that to up. Oh. Huh. Interesting. I did it! I figured it out, I just had to break the rhythm. Okay. You know what? Before we do that, I'm gonna save where I'm at right now. Because I think we're getting pretty close to the end. Hey, we're good to move on now. Go on then, I'll catch right up. Okay, we're like right in the center, like we're like just be before and after the center of the recursion. You sure are taking your time. Hey, no one's kicking me out. I think I got my hours in time, huh? You'd better, Ev. It's gonna be a different world out there. You ready to go? Yeah. In a moment. All these kids. You done with your jellyfish phase? It's not a phase. And yes. What's going on here? Not sure yet, but the place sure looks deserted. Wanna draw a plane? No one will be here to see it anyway. Oh, is this place closing down? Oh no. He got his hours in in time for it to close. 
will be shut down. Notice of airport closure. Hmm. I guess all things come to an end. So I did see him walking up there, but I want to go this way and see if there's anything possibly on this end. That's the office. This goes out to... It's locked. Never mind. This door, however, is it going to be locked for... It's also locked. Alright, so let's just go back around. Boy, howdy, I would love to be able to run. So, we're basically getting right to the end of Faye and the beginning of Sophia. Well, we actually saw the beginning of Sophia, so never mind. We're... Okay. These shelves sure look weird being empty, huh? This whole place does. Oh, so he straight up took this painting, I guess. You've always liked that picture, yes? Oh, it's- oh god, I didn't- it was- I didn't know it was the boss. I had them save it for you. Just a little something to remember this place by. Thanks, boss. You've done good work for us, kid. Honest, respectful work. Oh, and I almost forgot. Your favorite plane's still here for one more day before we have to move her. If you want to give her one last flight before then, it's on the family. Dear God. I'm gonna destroy my friggin' voice at the end of this. Okay. So now can I go out the back? Do I still need to... Or is it out this way? Oh, I bet it's out the back. Nope, no one's out the front. Hey, kiddos. <gasps> Burb! There's no way that's an accident. So, what's the next step? Because I don't think anybody in these memories has been uh, acknowledging Faye. Like, as soon as the people came out to that porch in the very beginning, she left. With the airport closing down and all? Sure. I think Faye is like... Either his... Perspective of the bird? His perception of the bird? Or maybe an invisible friend to... Or in, uh, yeah, an imaginary friend to make up for the bird? Well, there's the freight flying job I applied for. I did an interview with them the other day. I think I got a good chance at it. There's still a long way to go, but... That'll help me build some more flight hours. Wow. To think that you've actually come this far. It feels like only yesterday we were still standing on that balcony. Thanks for giving me the kick I needed, by the way. Happy to have obliged. Hey, any progress with that lady from the orchestra? Oh my god, are we swapping around? Sophia? Well, we've been talking. And? I don't know. Might try to ask her out on a date soon? But, well... Oh god, it's him. But, well, you know how I am with that stuff. Wanna help me prepare? Oh, I, I'm not sure if I'd be much of help with those sort of things. But if you want advice, I'd say to just work on making yourself more interesting. Blah, blah. Yeah, yeah. Still a work in progress. We haven't been talking as often lately, you know? Sometimes, even when I'm here, you just do your own thing. I know. Sorry. It's just been so busy. The good kind, though, right? Seems to me like you've got it together. I... There's still been this specter around as well. The, the, the mysterious silhouette from earlier, too. Hey, you gonna take that flight the boss offered? 
Barry said that there's a grass strip near the hill. Damn it! It's still on fake! Barry said that there's a grass strip near the hill we used to go to, right? Might be a good time to try a landing there. Yeah. You coming along? Mm hmm. I like that they just invited her along as part of the whole. Or it's insinuated she's basically plus one with him. Drifted apart. Alright. Hold on. That's not listed as a regret. That is not listed as a regret. The regrets so far are the ink attack, which was with Sophia. The misspell proposal with Sophia. The sloppy start with Sophia. What else? Come on, can we... Here we go, come on. Where is it? The, the absence from this kid's birth with Sophia. The bad landing? At the end, yeah. At Last land of Colin's career didn't quite hit the mark. Yeah, that with Sophia. Or when he was married to Sophia already. No grandkids? Sophia. It, it's gotta be something connected to Faye. Oh, yep, yep, yep. That's a, uh, that's a flower. Sheesh, are they just spreading hibiscus seeds wherever they go? I only have one. I only have one memory. The book? What's with the book? It's hot how such a simple wish of being happy could be so tangled up. He sure didn't make it easy on us by being ambiguous with the details. Here, I got an idea. What are you doing? Received permanent marker. There. Now let's go get paid. You moron, you can't just draw him a smile like that. Lips are red, not black. Great job, now he looks like an affectionate joker. We've almost burned through all the memories, haven't we? I guess. The vortex should be just up ahead. Good. Maybe that'll help us get to the source of what he wants. As if we don't know that already. Hmm? It's her, obviously. There's a reason she keeps on showing up. The guy's clearly got his childhood sweetheart on his mind and has been asking what ifs. He wants her, but he's got principles, so he knows he can't have her. The perfect equation for a sad, sad man who needs our help hacking the root of the problem. Are you suggesting to remove her? Well, if we do, you'd be the expert. That's the to the moon follow-up. But whatever happens, we have to change something. And in the end, she's the one we could alter the most anyhow. Colin himself said we should try to avoid changing things involving his family, right? And out of these memories, Faye's the only other consistency that we keep coming back to. I guess you're right. We could start with her and work our way up from there. But something still doesn't add up. Hello? What? C could it be? It's me, Roxy! I'm here! Oh my god. Oh. How's it going in there? D uh, awesomely, of course. How, er, how are you doing? Did you bring the paperwork? All the way from the beginning, huh? Yep, I brought the paperwork, alright. I also brought Rob! What? Can't stand that guy. I can hear you. Hi, Rob. Hey. Anyway, you guys want to come out real quick to get the paperwork done? Maybe the end of Act 1, I guess. We're kind of on a roll here. Maybe we should just ask them to help us with the papers. Oh, by the way, Neil, I was going to ask. About the machine, I think we saw... I'm heading out. Get the forms ready for a fill-in. Wait, what? You know the protocols, Eva. Colin's our patient now, and one of us has to check the forms. Yeah, but we've let others help before. The headquarters never cared. Maybe we should have cared, Eva. Maybe we should have cared. When were you one for protocol? Anyway, get that last memory link while I'm gone, will ya? I won't take long. And call me when we're ready to go to the next memory. I don't want to miss it. Hey!
interesting. Yep. Now we're on Act 2. The Act 1 is historically long. You don't have to leave anymore. Oh. Okay. So, let me get this straight. You took apart the whole machine because the maintenance department sucks, but... Look, it was the easiest way. Had I just left it to the company process, it would have never gotten done. Much like this paperwork. Oh my gosh, I just realized you're talking and writing at the same time. That's amazing. I hope it didn't cause you to make a mistake. I'm so sorry. You know, sometimes even I can't tell if you're being sarcastic. And that's saying a lot. Come to think of it, you actually remind me a bit of someone from this patient's memory. She's whacking all over the place, too. Oh? Bet I would have loved to meet her. I'm sure you would have. Too bad we're gonna have to do something about her. Anyhow, whoosh, paperwork's done and signed. Thanks for bringing in the docs, Rox. I'm gonna go check in on Colin. Oh, you're just gonna get away like that? Matter fool Eva and Rob, but did you think you could fool a fellow technician? I did a quick diagnostic earlier. Seems like you've done more than just removing the stabilizer. The machine you're using here isn't even your official Sigmund equipment, isn't it? Because your registered machine is back at headquarters. In your office. I don't know what you're up to, but I'm going to find out. Hey, Rob! How's the situation looking? It's fine. I was talking with the medical doctor, and... What's with the murderous atmosphere? Oh, Rob, you're tripping again. No, I am not, in fact, tripping again. Is everything going okay in here? Swimmingly. Neil's just gonna go check on Colin. Yeah, I'm... gonna go check on Colin. Oh, we're, we're right near the end. What's with the book here, huh? Oh, it's, it's the memory little... Yup. Oh, I've definitely seen through this before. Okay. Huh. A whole lifetime of memories. We barely ran into any of these nice ones. Yeah, it's because his head is always somewhere else. Oh, hi there, Sophia. This is going to be interesting. Go out early. Just needed to take care of some things. I'm heading back soon. That's good. Bring up Colin's memories. Ooh! Ooh! Okay. Hmm. Oh, God. Yes. Yes, I do. I, I need to know. I need to know. We're done connecting most of the past through Colin's memories, by the way. If you'd like, I could tell you about the things we found. I thought that would be... I thought that would be considered confidential. Yeah, but you're his wife. I personally think you deserve to know. Thanks, but I'm okay. Aren't you at least a bit curious about the things we found? Sure. And there was a time when I had been dying to know every detail. But now, I don't think it matters much anymore. Perhaps you know some things I don't. Maybe it even changed my view of things. Still, even then, you'd just be another incomplete piece of reality. And after a lifetime where all is said and done, I feel like the best I could do is simply stay with the reality I've come to peace with. That truck, she seemed a bit, she's, she stayed very consistent as a character. There is, however, something I wanted to ask. Only because I feel it's, I feel like it's meant for me. Did you find anything about why Colin put this book here? A and like this? No. I was actually going to ask you about it. 
He's had it for a long time now, but he kept on replacing its pages. And now it, it's just filled with blank pieces of paper. If you find something that's about it that's meant for me, please do let me know. That's all I ask. Understood. I'll keep an eye out for it. Hey, wait. Dr. Watts, right? I, I know I haven't been the most welcoming, and you probably know why by now. But I know you're just here to do your job. So, thank you for helping me. Yeah. No hard feelings. Okay. I don't know if that affects anything at all, but I am certainly curious. It's playing. Oh, now I get to see things as Neil. Small. The model of a small fixed wing aircraft, which is what he took his first flights on. This is. There. I, I would be so tempted to actually try and see the lake. The supposed lake view. Oh, Asher! Look at you, man. God, having this job would give you such a weird perspective on people. Taking a breather, huh? Why did I give you that high of a voice? Paperwork, mostly. How's he looking? Colin's okay so far. You guys are sure are stirring things up in there. Stirring things up? What do you mean? It's his brain activity. It's been abnormally high for a sedated patient. Try not to aggravate him too much in there. Wait, what? We haven't been doing anything d different compared to any other patient. Hey, I'm only telling you what I see. Anyway, just try to keep it in mind. I'll continue to monitor, monitor his status. Yeah, sure. Hey, may I talk to you in private for a moment? Uh, well, yes. Alright, come on. What's up? There's... Something I wanted to ask you. It's about my father's wish, and what you saw in there. You know that's confidential, right? Yes, but... You must know what it's like. Being the family of a patient undergoing this procedure. To be honest, my mother always was always against it, and I wasn't a big fan either. But if father were to take on a new life's worth of memories, well, knowing what and why would at least help me come to terms with it. So please, could you tell me? Keep confidentiality, reveal info about Colin. Oh, there's choices here. Uh, would they rather know? Let, let's, yeah. It's his son. I'm not gonna keep it from his son. You know, your father actually wished for something completely unremarkable. He just asked to be happy. That's all. I guess he certainly isn't, huh? Well, you shouldn't look at it that way. People are always gonna have cravings and longings for what ifs. He's just curious about grass on the other side of the fence, that's all. As humans are. I suppose so. But hey, he really did ask for you and your mother to stay as part of his new life. I hope that helps, for what it's worth. Thanks, Doc. Good luck with the rest of it. I hope something works out. We'll do what we can. And I'm gonna look back- nope! I should give Eva a call and see what she, she was up in there. Maybe I should check it with Eva. Oh, oh, I actually have to. Okay. Well, we're gonna we're gonna save again because we're pretty far along. Okay. She's not gonna hear me like this. I need to use the machine. Ew. Patient Neuralink established system on online view connection status. External neural connections one. Operator Profiles, Dr. Eva Roslin. 
Establish communication. Hey, Eva, you hear me? Neil? Yep. How's it going in there? He's trying to find the last memory link. Still? There's only one left. Yeah, I just... I don't know, I've looked everywhere. But the scan shows there's one more seat here somewhere. I'm gonna find it. Are you done with the paperwork? Well, I just... Damn it. Where are my pills? Neil? I better not have left them in the car again. Hey, you still there? Now Neil has pills? Sorry, I'm not finished with the paperwork yet. Ah, uh, how long does it take to fill and sign some papers? It's, uh, almost ready. I'll come back as soon as it's done. Alright, just make it quick. It shouldn't take that long to get to the car and back. What, do you have health problems now, dude? Okay. Maybe I don't remember this being a thing earlier. It was? I, I wanted to check in on Roxy and Rob. But I guess I'm locked out now. Okay. So what? It's... The title is you don't have to leave. These, these kids... Hey, mister! Oh my god, are you who I think you are? I knew you'd come by here. Oh, it's you again. Thank you and your girlfriend again for helping me get my bear back. Uh, she's not exactly... Well, hey, no worries. Yeah, thanks for helping. I can't afford to keep buying her new bears. That brat's been picking on my little potato for years. I wonder if someone to teach her a lesson. Now that I've got an even smaller potato, I... It's really got me worrying about the future. You named your other kid Potato, too? Of course not. Don't be silly. It's just a nickname. His real name's Spud. Oh, by the way, the front desk man said you're here to visit old man Colin? You know Colin? Yeah. He once literally beat up Amber for me. Did I use that right word right, Ma? No, dear. You meant figuratively. Oh. Oh. But... Whatever. So anyway, last week, Colin gave me his leftover jar of lemon juice. I haven't seen him since then, though. C could you please give it back to him? Wait, lemon juice? What for? To write spy messages, of course. Oh, shit! It's Invisible Ink! I've already written two secret letters to Spud for when he can read good. Old man Colin said he was already done using it, so I could borrow the whole jar if I wanted. Oh. Huh. Lucky me. Received no lemon juice. So, could you give the jar back to Colin? Well, I don't think Colin needs it anymore. You could probably keep it. Wowie, thanks! I'm gonna write a letter to myself. Okay, Potato, it's time to head back home. Oh, alright. Eva, you calling from the machine? Yeah, at least this function's still working normally. Hey, listen, I think I might have figured out something about Colin's notebook. That's not important. Right now I need you to check out something for me. Uh, what? Bye! Is everything okay in there? Did you find that last memory link? No. Are you at a computer? It can be. Good. Could you run a record search on Faye and search for any aviation accidents? Oh my god, no! You think she was in a plane crash? I just want to rule out the possibility of some rule the possibility of something out. I'll send you her extracted profile. There's enough data even without a last name. Let me know when you have the results. Okay. It's not gonna be a plane crash. It can't be a plane crash. Oh, Neil now what, dude? What's going on? What are you doing, pal? Hello! Hey, Rox. You're still at your laptop, right? Yep, yep. I just forwarded a profile to you. Mind helping me running a record check? Sure. Mind telling me what you're up to with the machine? Uh... 
Okie dokie, lokey pokey. It's settled then. I'll call you back with the results. Well, secrets upon secrets. So is it's possible that uh that Faye died in a plane crash and now the memory of her is haunting his memories? Another call. Hey Eva, I'm still working on the Neil? Can you hear me? Uh yes. Hello? Are you there? I'm right here. What is it? Neil, if you can hear me. Listen, I don't think she... Eva? Er, you still there? Weird. Call must be malfunctioning. I'll fix it as soon as I get back. Okay. This is, this is slowly becoming a horror game. Uh, burbs. Hi, burbs. Trash burbs. City burbs. Trish. Pigeon burbs. Is that... Are you the... Wait a minute. Is that the girl that was bullying the... Huh. It's a nice bike. She wish I had one like it. That was the one that was parked here at the very beginning. <clears throat> Eva, what happened earlier? No, it's Roxy, you silly putty. Oh. Uh, so how's the record search going? Are we going to an exposition dump? Oh, it's going just great. Actually, no, it's not great at all. Well, what Rob's, what Rob's saying is that it depends on your perspective. What? It's a yes or no question. Did she die in a plane crash or not? Well... Okay, okay, this is interesting, this is interesting. So here's the great part. There's no plane crash to her record, so you won't have to worry about that. Sheesh, why didn't you just say so? Simple no would have sufficed. Well, that's not all, though. Okay, hold on. I want to read this straight up, and I don't want to look at it. Okay, the music cue and everything. The thing is, not only is there no plane crash, there's nothing else to her record either. In fact, there is no record of Faye. As in, no record available to public domain? As in, no record in existence anywhere. Imaginary friend. I knew it. We've checked the cumulative public record, the, pri the private ID network databases, even... Well, even a few places that we technically don't have access to. Still, there's no record of her for anything. No death? Not even birth. Oh. Oh. So unless Colin's got some extreme form of dis distortive amnesiac condition... He doesn't. I checked. Yeah, so... Oh, sorry. I got another call. Hello? Okay. Okay. Oh my god. So it is an imaginary friend. So does... Act 3, even if it was just someone like me. Okay. 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 Hey, where are you two going? Company called. We got another patient going live across town. Yeah, we gotta hop. Sorry, Neil. Night call, huh? Someone should have taken a nap. <laughs> We're all used to it by now. Seems like you've got a handful to sort out of yourself, huh? Yes. If what we yielded means what I think it means, you might be in for a tricky evening. At least from our perspective, from our experience, patients capable of that tend to be rather peculiar cases. I've read the patient's case, by the way. Care for a word of advice? Well, you're probably gonna give it anyway, so... I don't know the details of Colin's life, but this reminds me of a case we've done. Just try to remember that making someone happy isn't only about finding the answers. It could also be about shaping the question. 
Anyhow, good luck. By the way, don't think you're getting off the hook easy. After this is done, you've got some explaining to do, don't you? Uh, uh. It's gonna be so much fun. See ya. I'm looking forward to it. Okay, so that's probably seeds for a sequel. Oh, wait, something just occurred to me. Although I'm not sure why yet. I do know why. I do know that you removed the machine stabilizer. But with the patient subconscious being neurowired to the system's processor. Well, I hope you got a backup plan if he's able to get around its single thread firewall. So Neil fucked with the machine. It's now vulnerable. This dude has a hyperactive imaginary friend who is coming back in his memories as a consciousness. That's what I'm putting together here. Okay. Okay, this is, we're, we're gonna finish this on stream. I don't care if it goes past five. I'm saving again. I am absolutely saving again. Okay. Patient Neuralink established, system on the line. Status. Error? Dr. Eva and error. Establish communication. You hear me, Eva? I'm coming back in. Are you still there? Neuralink established, systems online. Yeah, it, it, it turned into a horror game. What? Why? Why is the lullaby song playing in the background? Resume memory traversal. Yeah. I guess I could have talked to the rest of them, but... We're just going back in. This is where I left her. Eva? Okay. What's up with you, Faye? It's probably best not to provoke anything before figuring out what's going on. I should find Eva first. Okay, so... Where in God's name could she be? There's nothing around the corner. I couldn't go around the other side. Wait, something's different with that call in Avatar. Okay. Huh. The link to his timeline's overworld got unlocked. Even if Eve's not there anymore, it'd be easier to look for her from there. Let's do it. How come it's so, so sluggish on the option screens? Oh, I forgot about this whole overworld thing from the game. And we've reached a puzzle. Eva, are you here? Yep, floaty head. Every memory of Colin that we've pieced together so far. She's gotta be in one of them. Scan for activity. Personal Dr. Eva Roslin not detected. I'm just gonna scan all of them first. Not detected. Where could she be? I'm just gonna double check all the ones that aren't the vort the vortex. Not detected. Skin not detected. Not here either. Childhood. Not detected. Vortex of the anomaly that's been bouncing us around. I guess it's near the memory we left off at. Scan. Not detected. Dagnabbit, how could she be in the machine but nowhere in the memories? Unless. System narrow down Eva's most recent position. Well, 
the uh, freaking Bermuda Triangle. Guess it's back to the crime scene. Maybe I should have matched up the memories first. System, load up all available recordings from here. I'm heading out. Get the forms ready for a filling. Wait, what? Okay. Flipping corn cobs. How could this one memory link be so hard to find? That idiot sure is taking his sweet time. Wait a minute. She's still moving. You had a computer? Good. Could you run a search on Faye and check for any aviation accidents? I just want to rule the possibility of something out. The Faye sprite is still moving. Neil, can you hear me? Hello? Are you out there? Neil, if you can hear me. Listen, I don't think she's real. She's... She's all in his head, and something strange is happening. Yup, yup, I get out! Hello? Say something. She was still- I can't believe I didn't pick that up when they were just there. Oh, man. <laughs> this is so sweet. Hold on. There we go. What is this? <laughs> oh yeah, imaginary friend. You. Oh. What did you do to Eva? Oh! Oh! What the fuck is this? Damn it, this isn't even the freaking genre of patient I signed up for. Oh god. What do you want? Leave. You can't leave. This is our job. Colin signed for us to be here. He changed his mind. Leave. You don't belong here. Fine. You wanna play hardball? Let's play freaking hardball. Yep, he's got control over this place. You may have the host's subconsciousness, but I'm still the admin of this world. I never thought I'd have to use this, but you leave me no choice. It's time to show you my true power. Jesus, dude, come on. This gesture controlled interface was a terrible idea. Oh my god, is he doing a freaking magical girl transformation? He is. He 100% is. Oh alright, alright. I give it to him. This is pretty legit. <laughs> oh, he gave himself wings. You are such a freaking dork, dude. Oh my god. Is 
looks pretty cool. If you think I'm going to show mercy, you'd be sadly mistaken. Give up now. Maybe I'll consider... That's what you get, Neil. That's what you get. <laughs> oh my god, she took the memory back. Please leave. Turn. Never. This is so not what I built that back door for. I guess even my code needs testing before practical use. Uh, what the heck happened to Eva? I need to get to the bottom of this. Nope, Faye. Okay. Not exactly the girl across the balcony. Yep. Alright. Okay. Okay. We're gonna keep going on this now. Because this is got to get finished. Yeah, this seems a little low on list of priorities right now. God, he's actually running. Let's go, let's go. Any instance of Colin should get me back to the overworld. Okay, so we're searching for... There he is! Hey, bud. Any Colin's overworld? Yep. Okay. I think now at this point I gotta match everything up. System, narrow down positions of rogue mental activity. Oh, it's everywhere. She's split up everywhere? Where to even begin? Okay. Okay. So there's five memories that link? I mean, let's... I'm gonna end at the at the beginning. Windows. I'll get to that when things aren't bat turned crazy. Alright, so I guess I'm just trying to find her. In the memories of this old man. Mm-hmm. She's here somewhere. System, disable interactivity for all non-operators, including Colin. Wait a minute. This is the last accessible memory where we saved a communicative copy of Colin. Not quite as bright as the real thing, but sure beats nothing at all. Okay, so do I... Should I talk to Colin now? Oh, she's still asleep again. <laughs> nothing, nothing. Am I just searching around? Go through the house. Biscus. Kitchen. Let's go upstairs. Where the uh, the book was left. That's a that's a full shelf. Wait. That, oh, that's also a shelf. I thought it was another rug in implicating a uh, an exit. I don't even know where I'm looking. That's a door. That's a pantry, I guess. No. Plane. Okay. I just gotta go back out to him. Hmm. Right. This one isn't a stable copy of him. Where else would he be? Okay, okay, okay. Outside? Oh, wait, hey, bud. Colin, can you hear me? Oh, you're back. Yes, listen, I need your help. What the... Hello? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Hi there. You locked down the one who created you? That? No, that's not the real Colin. That's merely a partial copy of him that you created. Mm 
What were all of those? What the? What is this place? You tell me. What? Wait a minute. This... This is my unfinished interface? How are you even here? And where is Eva? Why should I tell you? You were going to remove me from Colin's memories. Uh, we weren't necessarily gonna... You're here to do your job, are you not? You said yourselves that you'd start with me, then work your way up. We only said that because we didn't know you could hear us. Wait, that came out wrong. But listen, we n you need to believe me. I'm on the patient's side, not the contracts. This, this is just a misunderstanding. We're here to do what's best for Colin, and you can work with us to make that happen. Hmm. That does sound enticing. It would be nice if that were the case. But should I believe you? Well, let's see. No! Uh huh. Yeah, yeah, Neil definitely fucked up a couple of times. Access to current memory denied. Commencing forced booting. Hey, wait, I'm the admin. Damn it. Did my own system just elope with my patient's freaking imaginary friend? to be. First. Okay. Okay. Last landing. Buddy. Not yet. Okay. What am I searching for? Eva still? What the? So. Why'd you buy a ticket for that seat? I wasn't even here in the actual memory. Get it right. This again. Hey, look over there! <laughs> okay, it isn't fair that you're basically wired to the system's processor. Why won't you just give up and leave us alone? I know Colin signed the contract, but he only did it out of desperation. He didn't understand the consequences, but he does now. Listen, I don't know what you take us for, but we're here to help him. I mean, I don't know exactly how yet, but at least give us a chance. Just tell me where Eva is and give us the memory link so we can finish the job. Your colleague? To tell you the truth, I don't exactly, don't actually know where she is. And as for the memory link... his ass he bass. I want to see this guy get hit. What did his imagination? He'll have to go through me. Shit. What what are we doing? Are we actually fighting oh space to continue. Okay. That was your choice. So be it. It's not fair. I can't even leave a mark on you. Whoo! Oh, hey, oh, go, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. All right. I thought it was actually a, uh, a winnable fight. It's my mistake. There was no chance at all. Access to current memory denied. Commencing forced booting. Okay, this sucks. Well. That's unfortunate. Let's keep going backwards. I'm gonna go to the source of this. Eventually. It's the, uh, the person across the street. Going straight there. Yep! Hey there, pal. That was you walking by here, wasn't it? That's none of your business anymore. What would have happened if I had started any other place instead of the oldest part? Hey, look, that paper plane thing was totally uncool. But what did you mean when you said you don't know where Eva is? I saw the footage. You were the one who locked her away. No. 
All I did was lock the communication channels and give her a scare. I don't know where she went afterwards. In fact, she disappeared soon after you returned. Disappeared? As in she unplugged from the machine? Yes, she's no longer here. And if you don't leave too... Well, I'm... I'm gonna make you leave. Another fight, let's do it. Wait, how are you even accessing my private programs like this? That wasn't what I was asking at all. Okay. Jump, defend, left and right. I can't even... Wait. Whew. Okay, yep, yeah, yeah, it's, uh... She's using my own strategies against me. System in current memory denied. Commencing forced looting. What is this anymore? I should have filled my water while I was up too. Ugh. Did you even really unplug from the machine? Maybe I should too. Wait. But if I'm not here either, the Faye not might even be able to reset our progress. I guess there's at least some use in keeping her busy. Keep going. Come on, kiddo. Is the hibis The hibiscus is connected to two places that don't have any hibiscus memories. That's gotta mean something. Not yet. There's something in here. Oh, oh, yep. Good try, but I sure don't recall the poster looking like that. You look a little distorted, by the way. You try squeezing in there and looking the same. Okay. Look, we don't have a lot of time left. If Colin's wish is to be fulfilled, we need you to work with us. Do you still not understand? Colin's wish is no longer something you can grant him. His wish now is for you to be gone. Is that his wish or yours? Ooh. What did you do? What? I didn't do anything. Unless... Eva? Hey, I wasn't so bad anymore. Wait a minute. Sweet, it's a Christmas miracle! Don't get ahead of yourself. Alright, what what are we fighting in now? Oh, it's back to the airplane, okay. This again. I won't let you get to him. Let's do it. Woo. Okay, okay, it's okay. It's alright, it's alright. Okay, so I definitely have to press. I can't just. Oh. Oh, wait, whoa, birds, 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 birds. Yeah, I can't just hold it down to fire. Test. Click by click. Okay, did I get hit once? Ooh. I hit once. Oh yeah. Whew, there we go. God, I don't even play bullet hells. Oh, oh, nope, oh, okay, hit twice. Oh, she had two health pools? Of course. Ow. 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 Damn it. Damn it. Why don't you just spam that move over and over again? It clearly got me. Hey now. Oh, come on. Three hits, three hits, three hits. Oh, damn it! Damn it! This close! This height isn't real. This height isn't real. Oh, I'm retrying the battle. Can I? I wonder if I can control it with the arrow keys. 
using the reset function isn't going to change anything. Hey, you're the one abusing the system here. Oh, I can. I'm just, I'm just going to hammer the space bar. Damn it. Okay. You know, I'm going to go back to this. I feel like my left hand's better for directions. Because that's what it's trained for. With all of my time of PC gaming, this is what's brought me. Okay. Yep. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. Can I shoot birds down? Oh, God. God damn it. I'm just doing that to myself. Okay. 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 Whoop! Fire and oh, Damn it! Damn it! I can get this! I can get this! It's so doable. It's so doable. Also, I'm sorry to the mic for uh, all of the absolutely horrid clicking sounds. You know, mechanical keyboard and all that. Damn it, I wait no I haven't been hit yet. Lucky me. Yep, 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 ooh. Okay. Okay. Come on. Come on. Oh damn it. Did I evade that? Yep, almost. Almost. Oh god. Oh. Oh. Oh, this shit again. Oh. Oh my god, I'm the master. I'm the absolute master. Now I just gotta win in the fight. Rogue activity no longer detected in this memory. Ooh. So I just gotta beat her in each place. Finally, like something's working. Let's return. Okay. Eva, are you here somewhere? Access to memory denied. All right. Left that hasn't been corrupted is the youngest one. Okay, kiddo. Well, and the vortex itself. Okay, kiddo. Blue mushroom? She liked the blue mushroom. That's the way back, is through him. Blue mushroom? No? Okay. Before I go to... That's, oh, the side path is unavailable. Oh. Hey. Come back here. There you are. You've been here since the beginning, haven't you? You've only had a glimpse of his life. Don't speak as if you know the beginning. Okay. Let's fight again. Come on. Come on, you've lost your edge. That's quite the confidence for someone who just got lucky. There's still time. Work with us and we'll make the best of this. The best of this would be you leaving Colin alone. And I'll be the one making sure of that. Let's fight again. You 
know I can take you on now, right? Oh god! Try me. Jump, defend, left, right, space to shoot. moving gotta keep you yep oh this is this is so this is so abusive yep yep all right oh, oh, oh. Come on. Come on. oh oh just barely one up in the skin of my freaking teeth holy crap okay so we got his youngest years secured. Rogue activity no longer detected in this memory. Booyah. Eva should see me now. Let's go back to the overworld. Keep practicing, kiddo. External patch installation initiated. What the? Is that you, Eva? I bet it's Roxy. Work activity not detected. Rotate memories. There's time for that later. Rogue mental activity detected. This wasn't here before. Let's get in there, I guess. Right in the vortex. Okay, so that's... That was one way to leave. This has got to be where I left Eva, right? At the very beginning of all this going wrong. There she is. Eva, there you are. Hey. Where have you been? I've been looking everywhere for you. Did you see Faye around here? Don't worry, I took care of her. Already? What did you do? Oh, and, uh, sorry about the mess here. I probably should have cleaned it up. You know... I've been thinking that we should just leave. Wait, what? The patient clearly doesn't want us here. We should respect his wishes. What are you talking about? The patients don't always know what they really want. You, of all people, should know... Wait a minute. Aww. I guess it's no use. I should know by now. You aren't just gonna leave. I really don't know what to do anymore. But I have to keep going. Even if it just stalls you. Uh. Okay, wait, hold on just a minute. Okay. Another vortex. Oh, didn't do the sky. Oh, not the sky, just cloud world. Well, wow, these clouds sure aren't as fluffy as they look. Excuse me? You've gone on for long enough. But this is where your trespassing ends. What in God's name? Oh, it's an a it's a JRPG now. Attack. We're, we're gonna start with the shoe. I should have expected it. Attack. Tornado punch? That did decently. Just gonna send these birds. Okay. Attack. Let's see what the kick does. Hardly anything. You know, for an imaginary character, your attacks are kind of vanilla. Uh, nope, nope, nope. I want to defend. Look, we don't have to do this. Then forfeit. Why are you still here? 
Not Rudog. Rudog. Oh no! And that one has an eye patch. Ugh, could really use some help. Try the tornado punch again. Okay. I'm about to drop. Oh, yep, 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 yep. Defend again. Oh, that hardly blocked anything at all. Try the Armageddon kick again? Probably should have just thrown the shoe. Not rude dog. Not rude dog. Be merciful. Yeah. Yeah. Take a nabbit. Reset scenario. Yeah, there's a way to win that? You just don't give up, do you? Well, there was this one time with the long line at the grocery store. But here? Guess not. Up in my eye. We're gonna keep trying to attack. Let's see what just spamming tornado punch does, because I, I think that's the most damage I can do. Starting with the shoe definitely did not help. I'm gonna lose out on SP real quick though. Getting kicked, dude. Okay, it's all right. It's all right. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna try and defend this one. And see what? I think it still damages, just not as much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just. I don't think there's any way to win this. Next turn, I'll throw the shoe. Eat you! Ha! Does a little bit of damage. What the? Rude dog has joined the party. Uh, all right. <gasps> Compliment, rocket dog. Oh, rocket dog, baby. Use them corky thighs. How? Question new dog? Imaginary dog is questioning season two. Oh no, damn it! Oh no. Why did I do that? Okay. Okay. I can make this work. Retry battle. Okay. So after. We're gonna guard. Defend. She sends in brew dog. We chuck the shoe. Check. Chuck the shoe. Brew dog fetches the shoe. And now we have an assistant. Hey, bud. Brew dog is in the party. Uh, nose laser. Oh, that's a ton of damage. Attack, tornado punch. The only health that matters is the last one. Rocket dog. Beautiful. Yeah, that hurts, that hurts. Defend, what does compliment do? <gasps> oh my god, it's a healing, it's a healing spell. Holy crap. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm getting kicked. Whee! Got Rude Dog. Rocket Dog! <laughs> oh, yeah. A little more. Oh, I'm gonna smack her with a shoe again. Let's see if that does enough. Attack. Swing the shoe! It did it! Killed her with the shoe! That was a hoot. 
I beg to differ. Oh shoot, Rudog's still up there. I forgot to thank him. But why did he help me? Shouldn't y'all made up beings act in unison of Colin's subconsciousness? Maybe even Colin himself isn't always so sure of what he wants. But so what? With all that you tempt him with, it's no surprise that he got lost. That's okay, though. He may not know what he wants, but I know what he needs. Look, you may be a part of his mind, but clearly you don't speak for his entirety. Could it be that you're wrong? I mean, no offense, but you aren't much more than that incomplete copy of Colin back there. In fact, I'm not even sure if there's a point in talking to you right now. After all, you're just an ethereal figment of his imagination that never even existed. Perhaps so. But is that any different from what you're here to do? There's Eva. Eva? Hey, sorry I had to head out for a moment there. She's all in Colin's head, by the way. Uh, yeah, I'm intimately familiar with that fact by now. But what were you doing? You just bailed out on me. I was out administering sedatives to curb Colin's brain activity. Not sure how his mental process could override us, but it was getting out of hand. So that wasn't a Christmas miracle after all. Damn it, something's in my eye. It took a while to work out the dosage, as we still need his brain functioning. Seems like it's working, though. The effect should be sinking in more now. Wow, just what have you been dealing with over here? Don't ask. Oh, she's not gonna ninja run out of this one! What the heck is that? This one new code Roxy sent me. She said she saw some issues with the machine earlier and knew he'd be in trouble. Wrote a patch in the car while Rob was driving, apparently. Pfft, show off. Did, uh, she say anything else about the machine? Aside from you doing a crappy job with the self-repairs? No, not like there was much time to talk. Actually, I'm still not sure if Colin is stable enough for this to work yet. Oh, it's doing a whole Pokeball thing. We caught a Fae! Huh. Didn't expect her to be locked down for good this soon. You must have tired, tired calling out quite a bit. Well, it was a... Uh, hard fought. Whatever it was, good thing this worked. I doubt we'd have time for a retry. I do have some questions for you about this... incident, though. But those can wait until the case is done. The effect of the sedative is temporary. We have little time as it is. Come on, let's move on already while we still can. Is that? Yep. This might just be the most hassle we've ever gone through for a single memory link. Hmm? What is it? Oh, it's just... Something she said earlier. Mm-hmm. That whole thing was messed up. And she turned freaky and ghastly on you too? Yeah, but that's not what I meant. Never mind, let's just get going and chat later. I guess it's not exactly a journal after all. Yeah, the, uh... The old secret notes lemon and the, uh, lemon juice and the blank notebook thing. What in God's name? Okay. So that's what we're trying to make. down here. Okay. Over. 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 We got a four! That's all we needed. Look at them hibiscus. Activate. Oh man, this game is a little longer than I was expecting. I was expecting four and a half hours and it's getting close to five. 
backing up iterative data for applied selection. Data backup complete and stored to repository. He's saving Faye. He's saving this imaginary friend. Oh, please tell me there's a third game in this series. That took a while. Aren't you right behind me? Uh, I just had to clean up that mess back there. Well, let's go and see what we find at the vortex of all this. I have a guess. There's another one of these. Oh, you too. So, uh, you think this is a case of schizophrenia? Well, with that, the patient usually has trouble actively distinguishing delusion from reality. But in this case, I get the feeling that he's actually well aware of it. Still can't say for certain, but I'm leaning towards some kind of defense mechanism instead. The more curious question is how she's able to materialize here so vividly. You think she's still able to... Uh, see us? Hard to say, but she shouldn't be able to interfere for now at least. This seems to be just a normal memory playback. Didn't exactly stick that soft field landing, huh? <laughs> Not like I had much practice on an actual grass strip. Should be able to interfere for now. Fine. Faye definitely reminds me a lot of Monica from Doki Doki. What you waiting for? Come on! Haven't you ever heard of the phrase stop and smell the roses? There are flowers on the top of the hill too, you know. I'll race you there. Oh, we're gonna get a song now, aren't we? It's coming. I really want there to be a song. Hey, I was thinking... It's a little windy today. Maybe we should come back another time instead. Oh, don't be such a downer! We're practically already there! Hey, remember when we played Catch Me If You Can? I do remember when he called her weightless. He's definitely aware that she's an imaginary friend. Okay, what is the matter now? Let's just rest here for a while. Again? You barely walked any steps. Hey, I'm the one who has to carry this thing uphill. Oh, I just thought you'd have gotten stronger by now, that's all. The cello got bigger too, you know. Just come and sit here with me for a bit, will you? first time we came here? Which first time? The second one, I guess. The one where I tried to race you up the hill. Oh yeah, that was a dumb move. You sure were excited to take me up there, though. Yeah. It had been a while since I took anyone there. It's still one of my favorite places. I've always liked how it overlooked the city. It really has been a while, hasn't it? I rather miss going there. So why are you hesitating? Hmm? We're mere steps away from there, you know? Why are you stopping every step along the way? Stop kidding yourself, Colin. You're not tired, and it's not the wind. You've already come so far. You know as well as I what we have to do. What? Is this man gonna bury a bird? This man's gonna bury a bird! He's got the bird in his freaking cello bag. Oh 
Oh my god, what? When did you get your guitar? She's imaginary. I, I get it. The first time we came here, that was the first time I accompanied you to play the scales too, wasn't it? Yeah. It helped. It still does, actually. Well, no one likes to practice scales alone. But you could have you could never actually hear what I was playing, could you? His own imaginary friend is confronting him about her lack of existence? up there today. It always is. You don't have to leave anymore. I can fly now. Wherever you go, I can go with you. You really are stubborn, aren't you? She's the bird. Don't you think you're getting a bit too old for me to stay? People would laugh at you if they knew. They can laugh all they want. I don't care. You made me who I am today. I learned to fly because of you. I kept playing the cello because of you. You taught me to practice the scales. No, Colin. I can't teach you anything you don't know. Nor can I make you do anything you don't want. Maybe all you really wanted was for someone to be there. Even if it was just someone like me. Okay, maybe she's not the bird. Maybe, maybe I'm going too, too obscure. Abstract. I know it's mesmerizing here, Colin. Oh, a cello! But you've been spending so much time with me and imagining what couldn't be. Don't you think you're forgetting what actually is? And all that could be? It's a play. Sometimes stepping out of this little world we've made is the only way to notice and appreciate all the beautiful things all around you. I just... don't want to be alone. Sure. If I go, you'll be alone at times, even when you don't want to be. But that's all a part of growing up. And it's all a part of life. It's what makes fleeting moments with loved ones treasured, and our memories precious. It's also what drives you to seek out what you wouldn't find if you just stayed here with me. There's a lot out there just waiting for you, Colin. I can't promise it'll always be good, but... I know you won't find all that you need living only in these pages of ours. You brought me into this world, I won't forget that. And while some things are meant to stay, some are only meant to carry you so far. How's the hat? Paper airplane. In my own way, you know I will always be there to protect you. And whatever comes, if it's something we could do, then it's something you could do. That a ring or a pog face in the cloud. That was that was a, an aviator hat. It's the hat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What do you say, Colin? Are you ready? Oh, buddy. I don't know. It wasn't even me trying to be goofy as an actual question. I can see how you get a pog face from it. I don't think I'm ready for it to end. I don't care what you are or aren't. You were my first real friend. 
I go, I'm going back to it. She is the bird. Hey, this doesn't have to be the end for us. One day, you might look back and realize how fast this precious life has passed you by. And on that day, I'll come back once more. We'll talk like how we used to talk. And you'll tell me about your day. No, about your life. You'll tell me about what a happy life you've had and all the nice memories you've made. You might not have such a happy life, you know. You're such a downer, you know that? Have a little faith in yourself, Colin. Of course you will. I know you will. It may take a long time, and it may take a lot of work and effort. But when that day comes, I know you'll have lots of happy memories to share. Ah, uh, it's almost time. How much have you written in that book by now? You replaced its pages so many times, huh? I must talk a lot. Sorry about that. But now that I'm going, perhaps you could finally spare more pages for other things. It's your book. You don't have to always write about me anymore. It's just like life, right? Same book, filled with all kinds of different pages, as it should be. Take care of yourself, all right? Hey. I still haven't said goodbye yet. You already have, Colin. This is before or after he had his kid. This is before. This is before. A long, long time ago. fan fiction about his bird friend from childhood. You gotta love it. That's a dead tree. Is this place all imaginary? She never came back, did she? So is this game just helping this guy with emotional trauma and stuff? I mean, pretty much. The first one was similar. Guess not. I wonder if she's a cause or an effect. Hmm? As in, do you think Colin's unhappy because she never came back again? If Colin only wanted to see her again, I doubt he would have needed to call us. Yeah. So perhaps her absence at the end not that he was already unhappy by then. Back to square one. This place is destabilizing again. We don't have much time left. Let's move. We have to make do with what we have. Alright. Wait. Do we even know what we're dealing with him yet? Or doing with him yet? I have a few ideas to try, but we still need to link the mementos first. Let's get back to the overworld and figure things out while we do that. All right. Uh-oh. What the heck? Uh, wait just a... All right, okay. What? In my own way, I will always be there to protect you. Okay. What are we dealing with now? Neil? What's taking you so long? This place is falling apart. There's no time to wait for him. Connect Colin's life, got it. So what do these two have in common? The airplane? Yeah, it's just the airplane. So the airplane's gotta go down on the bottom. That... That. 
this around Boosh. Got it. Cello. I mean, it has to be like this, right? Cello there, book there, the biscuit's here. Here we go. I think that's all of them, but. Excuse me? Was that a... Is Faye back? So that's Neil. What is this place? My god, this game is so much longer than I was planning on. I think I can actually do for finishing it. These memories, they're falling apart. The sub subconscious. We have reached the center of the ego. them. But when you go through the procedure and live that new life, just hold on to something from here. It's not like that, Fia. I won't forget about you. Hold on to something from here. So then what's he trying to do? He's so we've got a number of regrets, which may or may not be the regrets he was talking about. We've got... What do we have? You don't, bud. In the blink of an eye, suddenly there's still more time. And I find myself here, just like everyone else. I just want to feel like I've done enough in this world before I go, you know? That's why we are here, Cullen. Tell us your regrets. What is it that you want us to fix? Okay, okay. Can I go downward now? Yes, I can. Jellyfish! Oh, Sophia. We only have so little time in this life, and we'd never be able to do all that we want. No matter what we do, there always be other things we'd want to try, other paths to take. Buddy, buddy. He wanted to do it all. Maybe. I'm still trying to figure that out. Shit, 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 shit! Did it spill on your dress? Hey, <laughs> just one more excuse to jump into the lagoon. You know, we don't have to waste all that lemon juice. Have you ever tried riding with it? Lemon juice? No. Why? Huh. <laughs> then prepare to be mind blown by some elementary school magic. Get this. It's invisible ink. Invisible ink? Yep. The writing appears in color only when you heat the paper up. Come on, I'll show you. Let's write something with it. It's been a while since I've written. Well, never too late to start again. How about a letter? To who? Each other, of course. We could write about this trip. It's been kind of a journey, hasn't it? At the end of it, we could show each other what we wrote of it all. So has he been writing letters to her or to Faye? Why was this not part of that memory earlier? We all have regrets, be it writing a wrong or a dream long past. At Sigwin Corp, we give you that second chance to make things right. Because with our help, it's never too late. Why would you even consider? Why would you toss aside everything we have for something make-believe? I'm not tossing anything aside. 
Wait, these don't seem like just randomly scattered memories. Could it be that the sedative's wearing off? You are different. Even for the man you were when I first met you. You're no longer aloof, you know? When you're here, you're actually here. Officially gave up while the imaginary friend was the birth of his child. I know it. <laughs> I know it's mesmerizing here, Faye spoke after a pause, shifting her gaze back up to the sky. But you've been spending so much time with me, and imagining what couldn't be. Don't you think you're forgetting what actually is, and all that could be? He wrote fan fiction about his bird friend! Okay. Look, I got it. I got your message, you hear me? I know you're still here. You can come and get me now. Damn it, I really thought it was her. Uh, wait, is that really the only way to... Straight to the portal, pal. I am all out of water. That's a problem. Especially being four hours in. Where the hay have you been? I figured it out, Eva. I figured out the impossible. I mean, it took an unholy amount of spoon feeding, but... I guess that's what it takes when we're on the inside of it. What are you talking about? Yes, just what are you talking about? The sedative. It wore off already? You don't sound too happy about it. We're here to help Colin, and you're the mental process that's in the way. Well, lucky for you, that can be amended now, can't it? So, looks like we're about out of time. If you're going to erase me for good, you might as well hurry. No, we're not going to erase you. We're going to erase us. Wait, what? Colin never needed our service, Eva. He already had her. The ability to change his reality, to live in a different world. One that filled the gaps of what he wanted, all in his head. She is what we do, Eva. And yet, she left. She left which could have only meant one thing. What are you trying to imply? No, that can't be right. What we do is different from just... this. How is it different? We... Because there's more to it, there's more to what we do. We fulfill wishes, we give meaning to people's lives. What we do... It has to be more than just that of an imaginary friend. It's a lot more elaborate, for sure. But for someone who had to fight just to let go of fantasy and embrace reality, maybe our existence was merely an unwelcomed amplifier. A reminder of the make-believe, the imaginary. And the endless possibilities that make reality seem less than what it is. Hey, you two. Things aren't looking good with the patient. I don't know what you're up to, but you might want to get out of there. And by might wanna, I mean need to. After all that, huh? I guess none of this even matters anymore. There's no way we'd still have the time to implement any actual changes. No, we might not have the time. What about her? She's already linked to the machine's interface, right? Without us, all procedures would be internalized. So much could be done in a fraction of a moment. You're... You're suggesting giving sole control of the machine to a mental process of the patient? The ethical implications of that hasn't been done for good reasons. It hasn't been done because no patient has had a chance like this. 
Besides, what's our alternative? Just leave and mark this as a write-off? But what about legal complications and the contract? It says... Oh, come on, Eva. When has the contract stopped us? It's true, you can't really keep track of what actually happens at the end of it. Uh, guys? Go on. I'll be right behind. Don't say I never trust you. Oh man, this guy's doing some real shady shit. Why are you doing this for us? Well, if I were calling, and on my last breath, I'd trust you over two strangers in white coats, right? Strangers, huh? Your colleague was right about one thing. There is no... There is more to what you do than just playing God with people's memories. You've been here for just a day, yet... In all this lifetime, no one else has truly seen the world through his eyes like you have. And, well, you're kind of the first I've been able to meet, too. In some silly way, maybe that's a part of what Colin really wished for. It was one heck of a meet and greet, that's for sure. Full admin access transfer to unknown credential Faye. You gonna be alright? Just a little nervous, I guess. Well, given the circumstances, I'd say that's pretty alright. Hey. Do you think that in some ways I've truly existed? Well, for what it's worth. I think all our memories and everything in it can be nothing but the fiction we tell ourselves. Good luck out here. Colin's counting on you. Man's gonna be dead in like a minute. Like, he's gonna enjoy this life maybe for a minute. I guess I don't fully understand, but... She's got it, I guess. Hmm. His blood pressure is dropping. Vital signs are fading fast. I think he's letting go. God, I don't e Did Sophia ever even know about Faye? Well, they got the book. They got the book filled with invisible ink stories. I'm sorry for your loss. Please, take all the time you need. I'll be in the living room with the paperwork. When they're ready, I'll let them know. Always a little stark, isn't it? Seeing it like this after just having been in there? Eh, it is what it is. I'm just a little cold. It felt warmer in there. What we did back there, do you know if it worked? Hard to say. I'll try to dig through the data afterward, but... Well, it's never been done like this before. I don't know how could coherent it be. Guess we got another mess of a report to write. We can take care of that when the dust settles. In the meantime, I just remembered something.
So, did you succeed? There was a complication. We tried to cope with something unorthodox, but I'm not sure if we'll ever know what really happened in those last moments. Hey, Sophia said you got a lighter? Uh, yeah? Don't burn the book, please. Be careful with that lighter on paper. It's just like National Treasure. to wish my life away As we dream and as we grow We have to learn to let things go but let the wonder never fade Though we've turned ten thousand pages Flying high or stuck below I've searched for meaning amidst doubt I finally figured that part out And all the stories inside me Feels like I'm bursting at the seams And you're here after all All the grass on the other side Is it only greener in my mind? I'd still want it the same Trading my yesterday is to wish my life away. What are you booing for? This man cheated? Cheated in what? You didn't cheat nothing. You cheating? Life? I mean, that's the whole point of the company. The whole point of the company is that, like, you lived your whole life, and then you're like, at the end of it, okay, I want this, this, and this changed before I die. Thank you. Doesn't actually change anything, just changes their memory. Joshin, yeah, I know. <laughs> I'm 
Looking for something, old timer? It's been a while, huh? A long while. You haven't changed much. And whose fault is that now? Listen, I wish it were under better circumstances, but... I still had the time to tell you about all that's happened since then. It's okay. I was there. I'm only here to say goodbye. Just tell me one thing, though. Do you still have any regrets? Regrets? Yeah, I have a lot of those. But... That's okay. The chances I missed, the mishaps, and all that I wish I had, well, they were all still a part of it. They made way for all that I do have. And what I do have. I wouldn't trade for anything else in the world. That's all I wish to hear. Sorry I had to leave back then. Thank you for having been there, even when nobody else was. I right, never mind this dude is base, he knows the mistakes and re regrets forge you into who you become. Yep. Oh buddy. So he his whole core character is being a lonely man. In his childhood, his parents were always working, were pretty well absent. He basically raised himself. In school, he didn't really have any friends. And so, in the pregame, when he found a, a bird that needed help, he helped it. And they got together and became friends. And then, when he had to let the bird go, he had a hard time letting the bird go. After that, he was still lonely. So, he made up an imaginary friend for a long time and started writing stories about her. And... I'm just, I'm just piecing this together. The reason that there were only regrets, like regret notes from after... Oh, Ken Reeves Gal, well done, well done. From after, um, from after she left, like I, just with Sophia, it wasn't necessarily because of Sophia at all. It was because they were actual life things really happening that he wasn't crafting in written form. Oh, God. So, yeah, it just took him a bit to, uh, to understand that there was nothing wrong. He was just human. I think the whole point of this is, yeah, like, everybody has the flaws in their background, and everybody has flaws in their upbringing and what goes through life for them, and none of that is necessarily wrong. They're just your history. At the end of it all, all you have is your past. When there's no future, you try and change what you can. Or you, you would take the chance to change what you could, most often. Because it would be something new. Because it would be the future. Maybe that's what that... The idea of that company is in this game is for is that 
at the end of it all, there's nothing else that's new. You have no power because you cannot change anything anymore. Once that last moment is gone, you cannot affect the world. What's up? Where are you? Am I scotch? Drinking home? You said you'd be here. I said I'd visit like we always do, not attend the funeral. When was the last time we even did that? I know, but I just thought we owe it to him after... Dr. Roslin? We're about to start. Go on, I'll get my turn. All right, enjoy your scotch. You know it. Now, where were we? Oh, not looking sketchy at all, Neil. I asked you to knock, not hack my lock. Switching to digital was a terrible idea. Why didn't you just keep both locks on? Dag nabbit, Rob, I don't know why she even got you involved. Look, we don't have long. Are you guys still in or not? You betcha. So, is that the solution you were talking about? Yeah, that's her. Episode 2, Finding Paradise? Yeah, because episode 1 was to the moon. Yep! Yeah! Hey, oh, Nero, you're coming in right at the very end. Oh, man. Are there a mini zones? Thank you for having been a part of this. Oh, thank you, Kongal, for this excellent game. <laughs>